What's going on guys, welcome to another video. So today then I wanna to talk to you about e-packet shipping or just shipping from AliExpress in general then. Does it really take as long as anyone says? So just to show you a couple of quick things, this is the actual official e-packet website and if we just scroll down to where they quote their average e-packet shipping times, Brazil 20 to 30 days, Mexico 20 days, Russia, Ukraine, Saudi Arabia seven to 15 and then all other supported countries seven to 10 business days. Now, if they are quoting these times, then why do Ali why are the times on AliExpress so fast and so random? So for example, then we have this product here, which quotes 20 to 35 days e-packet to the UK, but then we also have this product here, which quotes 15 days via e-packet to the UK. So why is there such a fast range in the quoted delivery times and how long then does it actually take? So this is what we're gonna be discussing in the video though, but, but before we jump into it, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one one consultation call with myself in this video all you've got to do then to enter is simply like the video and leave a comment down below and then if you commented on yesterday's video then make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and that being said then guys without any further ado thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it what's going on then guys welcome to this video so just in case you wondered how ePacket was so cheap because i know when i first started drop shipping then i always wondered how you could ship something from china to the to the UK for less than what it would cost to send something from the UK to someone else in the UK. And when I went to China then last year, I actually found out why. And the way it works, the reason they can send things so cheap is because they'll have like a cargo plane similar to this that will just be full and full of pallets. And because planes are obviously round, pallets are square, they would have all this kind of dead space around the edges. If you can see, there's kind of spaces that they're not making use of. So what they would do is they would sell these spaces off really cheap to shipping companies and all these little e-packet parcels would just be bundled together in kind of similar to what these are wrapped in like a fishnet but obviously smaller holes so they don't fall through and they would just be thrown and stuffed down the side of the plane and that's how they can send little parcels like that so cheaply because these companies that run the planes like UPS the big ones they wouldn't be making use of this space anyway they wouldn't be getting paid for this space so selling the space off really cheaply is just an extra way of essentially just bringing in more money through the door that they otherwise wouldn't be have so that's how ePacket works and that's how you can ship something so cheaply, just in case you're interested. So this is the ePacket Express website then. Any information regarding ePacket, this is where I come, just because you can't trust what AliExpress themselves are saying. At the end of the day, they're not the ones shipping the shipping the actual package, it's your supplier, and it's this company here who are fulfilling the whole shipping as well, and, and pretty much just taking care of the logistics between China and between the UK. So to start with then, they give you a list of all the different countries that you can essentially use the ePacket service for. So as long as you can target these countries on Facebook, then by all means, they're definitely worth experimenting with, especially some of the European countries that have a high percentage of English proficiency. Just an example then, the Netherlands, I think it was something like nine out of 10 people in the Netherlands can actually speak English as a second language. So advertising on Facebook with English ads is definitely worthwhile. It's definitely a country that not a lot of people in the UK will be targeting purely because they don't expect people over there to be able to understand their ads. So there's a lot more content coming on that, by the way. And just to scroll down then, you can see they've got their average shipping times. Now, obviously, these guys being ePacket themselves, their shipping times are probably going to be a tad on the lower side. But what I'm going to be talking about in this video then is from my own personal experiences. So I've been drop shipping now for nearly three years. And probably since day one, in fact, I've always been using ePacket. Anything that's come from AliExpress has always been ePacket. So from my personal experiences then, as long as it's kind of like a normal product, and what I mean by normal product is the fact that it's got no batteries in it, um, it's not electrical, it's got no kind of like fluids or any consumables in, then delivering to the UK and to the US, in fact, Canada as well. I don't really do much in Australia, but certainly the Western side of the globe, so the US, Canada, and the UK, then seven to 10 business days is pretty accurate. In fact, it's very rarely that anything will take longer than that. Now, I do run a free Shopify Facebook group that you can join, and there's been people posting there um, a fair bit lately, and some people said like they've had things arrive in less than seven business days. So sometimes it can actually be quicker. Now, the reason AliExpress quotes so long, so it was this product here, 20 to 35 business days. The reason they quote so long and suppliers play it on the safe side is because 
if they send their item and it gets held up in customs and it ends up taking a bit longer and actually taking, so let's say for example, they did only quote seven to 10 business days. As soon as it takes longer than that, then you can open a claim against that supplier on AliExpress and ask for a refund. So that's why they essentially quote these longer business times to, to, to give them kind of like a buffer just in case things do get held up in customs because they can. But from my own personal experiences then, I've found that items like this, so just straightforward, simple items, they'll get pushed through customs pretty quickly because they're not harmful. They can't really be harmful to anyone. Whereas things like LED dog collars, when I used to dropship LED dog collars, they would be an absolute nightmare sometimes. And sometimes they just wouldn't arrive. Like when you can track them on AliExpress, they'd just be held in customs forever and they would just stay there. So things that contain anything hazardous, any kind of liquid, or if it's powered by the mains, or if it has a battery in it, they're the sort of things that are likely to take a bit more time to get processed through customs and they are more likely to take these kind of delivery times like 20 to 35 days. Whereas simple items like this, um, in my personal experience, will just get pushed through customs, no problems at all because there's nothing hazardous. And you can see these guys are obviously pretty confident in quoting estimated delivery time in 15 days. And like I said, the only reason they overquote things is just to kind of give themselves that buffer just in case there is a delay. Because like I said, once it goes past the quoted delivery time, then you can actually open up a claim and you can like essentially just ask for your money back from the supplier. So just in case then 15 days still isn't good enough for you or seven to 10 business days, then there's a couple of things you can do. So um, I've got this page open here. All I've done is simply search for dog to show that there's a vast amount of products because when you, well, essentially what I'm doing then is you can change where you're shipping from in this. If you just have a look at this tab here, you can change what country you want to source the products from and the more specific you go with the products then the less available there are going to be that's why i've gone quite broad but anyway we can still do it if i go ship from the uk um, we can pick this product here we'll open that up and we can see we can essentially choose all these different countries to ship the products from and like it says there four pound fifty so quite expensive but estimated delivery time is only five to seven business days but you can also do other countries so you can choose to ship from but spain is usually pretty quickly so if we select spain um, we can see we can still get the same products in fact let's go back to this page uh, so Delivery to the UK then from spain is five to fifteen days we can do germany five to fifteen days in fact they can't deliver from germany um, but there's loads and loads of different countries that you can choose from. Now, sometimes they are going to be really expensive, like so, £10.50, that's very expensive. But you will find products, if you do your research, then you will find products that are going to be a lot cheaper uh, to ship to the UK. So let's just have a quick look at this one. Ships from Spain, EU plug, so £5.66. Now, the products is quite expensive, so you could probably work that in. But simply to do this, then all you do is you go to the top of the page here and click the country that you want to sell it to. So let's say we want to sell to the US, for example, United States. Save, let's say we're in the dog niche. So these are gonna be all the products that can ship to the US and then we can choose which countries we wanna choose from. So we can choose US to US and this should be pretty cheap then. If we just go by orders, so we're gonna have a look at the most popular products. ships on the US. So $5.79 is pretty good, but four to 13 days is obviously very good and completely avoids that potentially one month, even two month delivery time. And that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. As you can see, there's a few different work away, a few different workarounds. Um, moral of the video then, don't take face value for what AliExpress is quoting. Do your digging, do your research and find out how long it is actually gonna take. Like I said, these supplies, you can open cases against them and ask for a refund as soon as it goes over that estimated delivery time. That is why they have to play it so safe. So don't be afraid to tell your customers then up to two weeks. Depending on what the product is, you might want to quote a bit longer. But like I said, in my own personal experience, these kind of products then that show no kind of harm or potential potentially hazardous will arrive a lot quicker. Um, and even if you do have to quote like those three to four weeks, then it's not gonna put absolutely every single person off. A lot of people will say drop shipping doesn't work because of the delivery times, but you've seen it, you can get it within 15 days. And even if it does take longer, like I've had people wait two months for a dog collar before. As long as you provide good customer service and you're fair and you treat them like a human and you understand what they're saying and you're apologetic and you give them a discount code or whatever it is, as long as you just 
treat people fairly and well, then they're more than happy to wait in the majority of the cases. And that being said, guys, that's it for the video. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. Please do leave a comment as well if you want to be entered into the one-to-one -one raffle for the call. Um, and that being said, then, let's announce yesterday's winner. This is the video then. Um, I haven't had a chance yet to go through the comments. So if you have commented something that I haven't got back to you, I will do um, at some stage today. Um, so make sure you just hang on for that. Um, so anyway, I'm just, I've just took the URL then. Head over to our random comment picker, get YouTube comments, um, and click start the raffle then, see who's going to win it this time. And the winner is Protect and Protect and Enhance. Pretty cool name. Thanks, man. Been using Vegas Pro for video editing for my. Just give this one a go due to its speed. So thank you very much for your comment. Appreciate it. Um, Instagram is probably the best way to reach out. In fact, DM me on Instagram and we can get that call arranged. And that being said, guys, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.